up, what's up, what's up, guys? This your girl, Kaylin, a.k.a. K, a.k.a. Bad Girl K. And we're back with another episode of Get It Poppin'. So, we got a new guest, Dylan Cage. Tell me about yourself. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, how you doing? Doing good, can't complain. So, you are a musician, and you have your own clothing store. Tell me all about that. Um... I'm a musician for it first and foremost, you know, um, a okay. lot of people in the city probably, know, you know, I've been doing this for so long, a lot of people know me, so. That's what's up. Um, I got a project out right now called Thanks in Advance. Oh, Thanks in Advance. Yeah, I like so that. Okay. It's, um, it's doing good right now. I got a whole bunch of money. I'm always dropping, so I got to land good. money to so come out in any. Okay. Know. Okay. And, um, as far as the store, you know, my brother, my little brother, um, hey, dang, he, um, Started to remember that's vintage, you know. I help him out with that. Okay. Like the driving force behind that, right. so that we providing them, um, you know, things we saw going elsewhere. We provide it to be all pretty much. I respect that. So tell me more about the music first thing first. So how long you been doing that for? I've been doing music probably since like 11, 12. Dang, that's a long ass time oh, too. Yeah. I respect that. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So, Record myself by my mama closet type shit. See, I be hearing that stuff too, and people be making it. Like yeah. I respect. that that yeah. and you gotta start somewhere oh, so yeah, for I sure. respect that all the way like what made you realize like okay this is something that I want to do like for the rest of my life mm, it's like I was always inspired by music um I'm biracial, so I kind of got like two sides of the spectrum pretty much on music. Okay. Like, you know, like. What's your ethnicity, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I'm black and white. Oh, okay, so, okay, yeah. that's cool, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, so I, I was able to get, you know, different cultures growing up. Yeah. And um, it taking different type of music, stuff like that. I had like um, rock family background on my mom's mm -hmm. side and all that. Okay. So um, it's that and just like um, coming up out here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah and, you know, I was a youngster seeing people like um, Boosie, Wavy Gates, stuff yes, like that. So yes. it made you, you know, made you believe you it realize, was possible. Like, you know what, I can do I it can do too. It. Right. Yeah. yeah. As long as you achieve it and try to reach your goals, you got it. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't anything. stop. Right. Can't stop, can't stop won't stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. So far as with the, okay, let me ask you this. Like, uh, is there a favorite person that you like to collab with or? Oh. Um, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a studio rat, so I be in the studio a lot. So okay. it's like, I, if they there, I'm going to record. But okay. If they not there, I'm going to record. You're going to record yeah, regardless, 24-7. Yeah. I got a lot of music. For so sure. how long is your studio sessions, like, usually? Man, I done had some long ones. Like, I done recorded 10, 15 songs, and I, you know what I'm saying? That's One session. Because that's probably, like, all night, right? Yeah, all, not as long as you think. Like, you're really doing them. Yeah, like, like back know, to back, yeah. yeah. Maybe an eight-hour block, I might do 10, 12 songs. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Okay. So now, moving on with the clothing brand, what made you realize, like, okay, I have to do this as well, too? Like I said, really, it was just, like, my brother. Like, he, he found, got into the vintage game and um, really okay. just seen, the, you know, the vision for it, and I just kind of helped him with that, you know what I'm saying? kind of go hand in hand. He, he was also a musician at one time, too. So okay. It's like we both um, like just that. fashion, Family music, and go together. together. Oh, yes, yeah. that's yeah, nice. So, so what's the name of the clothing brand? Remember That's Vintage. Oh, yeah. okay, that's nice. Nice. And where can we find this clothing um, store? It's um, on Jefferson Highway in Bocage, right okay. next to Panera Bread. I think I've seen it. Yeah. I'm going to have to swing by one of For these sure. days. Sure. Yes, sure. yes. Yeah. I definitely respect that all the way. You know, so that's what's up. I definitely <laughs> like that. Okay. All right. I'm just trying to stay on um, working. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. I just try to stay busy. Yep. Yep. That's good. <laughs> Definitely respect that all the way. <laughs> so now that we got the career questions out of the way, now I'm about to ask some real juicy shit. Oh. And it's time to get it popping. <laughs> Do you drink champagne? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's your favorite thing to drink? Um... When I'm out, occasionally, I'm not a big drinker, but like occasionally I'm gonna do like tequila or something like that. Oh yeah, I love tequila too. Yeah. Like with but me. But I also, I sip like a wine, you know, do a Merlot or a Cabernet or something like yeah. that. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Had to let that fizzle down. Let me see. I'm gonna give you a little more. Okay. <laughs> so I like She's to get to things popping. You never know with me. Oh, okay. <laughs> trying to take advantage of you, Kay? I might. You never know. <laughs> so, all right, let's get down with the relationship questions. Cheers. So, you are single, right? 
So are you the type that's like, are you the player type? Or are you the type that's just like, okay, one day I want to get married and settle down? Um, I mean, I, I, would, I would like that in the perfect world. So in the perfect world? family one. and you know what I'm saying? But the world we live in, it's like, it's hard to find a good woman. It's pretty much saying? some toxic shit. So like, what, what is your point of view of relationships? Like, what do you think about that? I think it's the effort you put into it because, like I say, you got a lot of people that's like in role reversals now. You got a lot of yes. women that feel more masculine uh, energy. That's so true. They want to play the dominant role. You got a lot mm. of niggas out there that's tender and got feminine energy. Yes, yes, yes. most definitely. So, what is the longest relationship like you ever been in? Probably like five years. Ooh, that that's that's long. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and it was up and down, like up you know, and down, like a roller coaster. Yeah, every day I don't take nothing away from nothing I've never been through because I learned something from it. You know, that's to be true. able to push forward. And yeah. I'm in the best position. You know, God got me where I'm trying to go for right. sure. It wasn't no cheating involved, huh? No, not no. Oh, okay, not okay. From my end. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> said that from my end. Yeah. It was on her end. Yeah, I mean. Oh, no, see, you guys, your women ain't shit either, y'all. I'm oh, just yeah. saying, look. Yeah, you know. I say like I say, you can't break me because, like, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Right. Same, so, you know, I'm okay at the end of the day. Right, you know right. Yeah, definitely respect that. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's a champagne that's getting to me, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, like, so you're open to, like, being in a relationship? Or are you just chilling? I mean, I'm at the point in my life where I can do whatever I want, so a woman got to make herself. Yeah. I ain't saying she got to chase me or nothing like that, but she got to give her effort. Your effort, make me feel yeah. Like I even, you know? Otherwise, he's kicking it, y'all. Yeah. No, I'm playing. <laughs> uh, like, I mean, why not? Why not? I got the, I'm, I'm. Luxury can I have children? I don't have, you know, like, yeah. so, like, in the state I'm in, like, if you ain't bringing that, like, if you're not trying to lock me down or trying to, like, why would I be like, right? You know yeah, so do you think it's like a maturity thing, like, far as like with these couples, young couples that's not working it out? Oh, um, like I say, I think everybody gets with each other for certain reasons, and then when. If it ain't real, it always gonna come right. to the light. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. So what is your biggest pet peeve? Like, what's a huge turn off when it comes to like women? Mm -hmm. Like during the talking stage. Let me let me start off with that. I don't like attention whores. Ooh, attention whores. So center of attention. Like, okay, give me a prime example. What do you mean by that? I don't want you to be the person that want everybody to see what you you know. Like, like, you might walk in the club and you're trying to be shaking their ass everybody. too much or on yeah. the table. You know, just doing the most. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I definitely get that. Is not there for nah, nah, we having fun and we partying, you know what I'm saying? Popping bottles Just know I'm not going to take you serious on that level. You know what I'm saying? Respect that. <laughs> you See, know what I'm I saying? feel like men know you right off the thing. bat. Men know, men know whether they want to marry that or be like, okay, she just uh, hit it and quit it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, that's, that's truth in that. Yeah. Truth in that. So you have another pet peeve that you can't stand? Mm, I don't like pessimistic. Like pessimism. Like I don't want you to be the don't be the Debbie Downer. Oh, negative. Be, yeah, like, yeah, ugh, negative I'm fat. Or or no, prime example. Ugh, why the hell are we here? We gotta go. Yeah, I don't I'm like, ready to oh, go. Well, <laughs> be bougie around me. We get real right. Right. So you don't like no stuck up. Yeah, ass I don't women. like that. <laughs> See, it's I a time that and too. place. Like, I feel right. like that. I, I want you to be a little bougie, but don't time don't, and place. Don't act like you're better than nobody. Better than anybody. Yeah. Oh, I hate that, guys. Yeah, yeah I can't stand a stuck-up person yeah, or when they complaining about shit and ready to go. But like, when we going? Yeah. When we just got here, like chill, yeah, <laughs> do something. Do I don't know, <laughs> but I definitely get that. So yeah, that could be a pet peeve too. For sure. Like center, like attention whores and. Pretty much like a Debbie Downer, you know? So yeah. So is it important, like, like you know it's serious like when you like start bringing up, like bringing the girl to like your friends and family. So is that important to you if they don't like it, the person that you're with? No. No? Nah. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Cause people can be picky. Yeah, I make my own decisions. Yeah. So can't nobody persuade my judgment, you know what I'm saying? Now what if she was like disrespectful or was like, come on, I'm ready to go or hey, you know like demanding. Nah, she ain't. it's on the only it's on you the tolerate. Only 
Nah, I'm saying the only time I take any type of diamond is in the bedroom, but besides that, uh, I ain't taking it, yeah, in the public and shit like that. Yeah, out in the public, yeah, I get that. You know, I'm a man at the end of the day, you gotta respect me. Right, yep, I yep. think that's the problem too, like people gotta have respect for each other. I think a lot of, you know, females the men will do, they don't really respect them niggas. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, I don't know if you keep up with the industry couples, but like, I don't know if you noticed, but a lot of them like are separating. I don't know if you heard about Tiana and Iman, and well, Tia, one of the twins, and her man, Young Jeezy and his wife. Like, what do you think about all these industry couples divorcing? I think industry is made to not last anyway. You yeah. Kind of for the in the moment, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Kind of just going with it. Right, like and like I say, anything that ain't real is gonna hit the lights. So. You're right, and the common one, well, the most one that I'm shocked about right now is probably Remy Ma and Pat Poos. I'm not sure if you're familiar with those. Yeah, like, I know that is. like, what do you think about that? I mean, and they she say cheated, she, she she cheated, cheated. right? But I don't know what Pat. Like I said, I don't know their business. So yeah. It's like, yeah. Uh, you know, if it, it, like, whatever they got going on from the outside looking in, if Remy did that, then All right. right. I'm like, Remy, you, you kind of make it a like bad But like I said, women have a tendency of like, you know, taking advantage of tender niggas. So, you know what yes. I'm saying? I'm not saying that Pat would tell a nigga, but I'm just saying like, <laughs> if a girl knows she can kind of run over a nigga, she going to do it. Because she seemed like she um has the pants in that relationship. It's, it seemed like she's running shit. I can see. You know, yes. Because he, he, he kind of comes off pretty soft to me. I mean, he just, you know, on a different man, energy. From what yeah. I could tell. Yeah. You know, you never know what goes on behind closed doors. Yeah, it's crazy, because like I say, girls say the hell he's so good, but that ain't what they look for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that, now these <laughs> things, they like for. hood dudes or bad boys. And I, I, my only request is that you be real and vocal about what you want. You right, know what I'm saying? Don't so be the true. person lying to yourself. Yeah. Like, I like that thug dumb shit. I like to get rash. I like yep. to get fucked you know? And I definitely think that Pat Poos was more into Remy versus the other way. Man, you know? Man. I mean, I, I feel like see. everything's supposed to be, like, the feeling gotta be mutual, mutual. You know? So, another yeah. couple that's, like, really surprising me, Young Jeezy and Jenny Ma. Yeah. yeah. And he filed for divorce. I'm like, what the hell did she do? Yeah, I think he said something about his, you know, the family morals. Just probably, you know, she come from TV and stuff like that. So yeah. I could imagine. I wonder if it's her culture, because, you know, they're an interracial couple. Like, I'm all down for the interracial couple. So I'm yeah. just like, I thought they were going to make it. She even had a baby for him. Because, yeah. I don't know if you know, but the first, like, her first husband, they filed for divorce all because she didn't want kids. And he wanted kids. Mm. But the fact that she had a baby, when Young Jeezy mm. and then end up filing for divorce two years later that's crazy to me like I don't know yeah obviously something like I said something went wrong something went wrong <laughs> and they said there's no room for reconciliation so I'm like damn what the hell did she do <laughs> and I'm telling the Hollywood baby yes they had that Hollywood shit but it's definitely a lot of industry couples that's just mm. going down the drain mm. you know I mean, so I know that you're single, but is there any advice or like, or no, let me ask a better question. So what is your ideal of a woman? Like, what are you looking for? Um, somebody who, um, I would say like ambitious. Ambitious? So, yeah, somebody okay. who like self-value they self. Yep. Aware they surround, self-aware. That's you know true, because they, they got some dingy people in this world. Yeah, just, like, <laughs> just I, saying. I just want you to act like you've been around the block for, you know. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't like, I can, you know, if you're too green, I can't, in the industry I'm in, it don't work. So yeah. So it's like, what I look for is just somebody who will go get somebody who want, who want something. Yeah. And, and value something. Okay. Like morally, okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you was with somebody, you want to really be with them. Right. Like, I always got a rule, like, why why, why would I have a girlfriend if I want to be single? Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so I I'm get the, that. I'm the type of nigga going right. to be single. Right, right. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> now these days, it's probably best to stay single. I mean, like I <laughs> Just said. Just be like, though. <laughs> yeah, well, how I be is like they come all type of ways. Yep. So, like, what is your major turn on when it comes to women? Um, like I said, I like a dominant woman in the be in the bedroom. You know, somebody mm -hmm. that just ain't scared. She know that's her. That's her. Can what? I say that? That's her dick. You know what I'm saying? And she wants okay. it now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so like dominant in the bedroom, but like when you're in public, submissive. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. Or it could be a dominant, be like, no, you, could be a you come to me now. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be like, you know, it's like you gotta be kind of feisty for me. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, you like feisty women. Uh-oh. Yeah, you ain't gotta be like overbearing, but you gotta be like, you gotta kind of have that spark. You get what like I'm the saying? jealousy type? No, not jealousy. What? You just gotta be like, that's mine. Like, that's for me. Like, that's my dude. Stay the fuck away. Yeah. <laughs> Protect. Act like it's, it means something to yeah, you. Yeah, you know? I get that. So, what if you come across a woman that's like, all the way bossy and want you to be a certain type of way. Hey, I ain't gonna work. You ain't gonna yeah, tolerate it. Was, was, I could, you seem like the type that's like gonna flash out. Not flash out, but like, uh, you know what? This ain't gonna work. Oh yeah, I'm very blunt. I don't Wait, lie about what's it. What's your sign if you don't mind me asking? Scorpio. I saw that because of the Scorpio. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all have a feisty side. Yeah, so I don't know if you all about the astrology. But yeah, y'all definitely have a feisty side. Yeah, for yep. sure. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, I definitely, you know, tapped into another source. Yeah, <laughs> definitely get that. So, what are your turn offs like, like hygiene wise, or? Yeah, you just gotta keep yourself together. Act like you care about yourself. Like yeah, self value. Yep. You know what I'm Cause that'd be funny if you come across a woman that just. Don't get her shit together. Just coming in with a binary. Hey, how are you? <laughs> you know, a lot of girls getting by off they look people get show. comfortable real easily. Like, they do get comfortable. You be surprised who just don't care and come off trifling. Yeah. So, I definitely get that all yeah. the way. Oh, yeah. Like, you just can't I know a lot off. of women that's like, fix up. Like, they look good when you see them. But if you don't, when you don't see them. Oh, like, without the makeup? Oh, yeah, just however the they hit most of the time. They only, they only get right when it's time to get right. They not on the daily yes. keeping they self together. You know what I'm saying? So you ever came across a woman that looks super, super good, but then let's say like y'all spend a night, she decided to take off everything and show the real her. Yeah. Look really, really hit. Or show up like how she look nah, without I makeup. Ain't gonna lie, I'm picky kind of too, so. Yeah, like, so I it can't just be anybody. Yeah, I'm probably picking the girls that I ain't got to even do too much like that. Yeah, you know I respect saying? that, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, when people wear a pile of makeup, it, it kind of gives me insecurity vibes. You know, like they're very insecure. Or, you caking that shit on your face like that, for and sure. And people, like, I I can't stand a cakey face. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Like, I like the soft look. So I, I definitely get that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yep. So definitely get that all the way. So you ready to play a game with me? Sure. All right, so we're going to play Never Have I Ever. Okay. And the loser, I hope it's you. <laughs> he said wife B. Okay, we're going to drink down this champagne, so make sure you get ready, all right? All right, we're going to probably do five. Okay. Or you want to do five or ten? I don't know, it's your, it's your world. <laughs> Let me see. I, I guess we could do five for now. Or, you know what, let's even it out. Let's do seven. Seven fingers up. I like seven. I like All right. Number. <laughs> Lucky number seven. All right. So you ready? All right. So I'm going to ready to ask some dirty questions. Let's no, I'm playing. <laughs> All right. This is the first one. Never have I ever cheated on my significant other. Like in life? Yeah, in life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, oh, so you got to put a thumb down uh -huh. or a finger down. Yeah. All right. Okay. So next question. Never have I ever like try to flirt with my significant other's friend or family member. In life? Yeah, in life. Ooh, wait, wait, uh-oh. Now you gotta explain that story. Explain it. I mean, I was young, shit. You know How I'm young? Saying? I'm saying like high school, college. Okay, no, no. now that's, that's normal. I that's give what it what I'm saying, in life. Cause like, people yeah. done that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That ain't normal. Yeah. That happens. I no. mean, it happens. I'm gonna say it's not normal. It's, when you're young, that is normal. <laughs> see, you see, we both thinking that's, that's normal. That's how you learn about it. See, maybe we're toxic. <laughs> yeah, that's how you learn about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You learn that people like, you know, like, oh, I might have shouldn't have did that. You know but, what I'm but saying? But you did it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, people gonna do what they gonna do. Uh huh. You're right. Can't live in, you know, you gotta live in your truth. You're right. So never have I ever got caught having sex with my significant other and my mom or dad, like mom or da dad or a family member watch. Watch? Like caught y'all in the oh. act. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no? Okay, I thought I see. I think he about to say, yep. Nah. <laughs> that ain't happened to me either. <laughs> nah. I done definitely um, did some things in somebody's house, though. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that is interesting. I ain't never got caught. 
Never got caught? Okay. Look, see, man, as long as you didn't get caught, right? Smooth like ninja. <laughs> okay. So, never have I ever took another woman out on a date while you were in a serious relationship. No. Okay. I mean, I'm asking because people can be really shysty. Yeah, no, nah, I ain't never no did. They really can. Like I say, I'm, I'm, um, I'm all about loyalty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I say, it only took one time when I was young on some shit to be like that, to be like, oh, no, that ain't the way. You know right. what I'm saying? Yep. You know, you know, yep. <laughs> if I'm with somebody, I'm really with somebody. I get that. I definitely respect that all the way. So, okay, another question. Never have I ever told someone that I love you, but you didn't mean it. No. Well, I'm putting up. <laughs> I ain't never did that. I can't say I ever did that. I'm weak. <laughs> I did some stuff, stuff like that before because you might laugh. I actually got into it. Well, I had a little petty argument with this person. Yeah. It was so dramatic. I don't know. I think it was something to do with another person. And the funny, crazy part was we were texting. <laughs> and I just got mad. And I said, you know what? I love you. <laughs> like, as, uh, to end the argument. Oh, okay. <laughs> but this was back in my college days. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think I would do something like that now. Yeah. But let's see. What's another one? Another juicy question I can ask. Let's see. The director has a question. Okay. Have you ever went out on a date with a man you with a person that you didn't really like? Yeah. <laughs> you know what he was yeah, doing. Okay. Do I have to explain that, Joe? Okay, <laughs> I definitely did that. So why do you think that people do that in general? Because of boredom? It might, it, it's a little bit of that. It's a little bit just like you might not want to be like give rejection vibes to somebody or something like that. Oh, see, I don't care about rejection. Me, if I don't, if I don't like them, but, well, no, that, I can't. Sometimes, that's why I say sometimes <laughs> relationships are deeper. So yes. it's like, I still, it's certain cases where it might not be what you think it is, and it's just what we, you know what I'm saying? Look, see, it seems like you're beating me because I got four fingers left. <laughs> see, we're doing seven. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I think people do that out of boredom, like, boredom, or, you know, just time going like by. I say, it's just being open sometimes. Sometimes see, somebody... See, I try to tell, try to be open. Yeah, if somebody <laughs> asks you, you ain't got shit else to do, why not? See? <laughs> like, <laughs> see? See, thank you, because I had a topic about that with Joe earlier. Uh, you think people don't do that? I know I do. Yeah. Well, I did this past week. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, if I ain't got shit else to so do. Shit else to do. Why, why yeah. not? Oh, but it should be. So the person that we went out last week when he sees this episode. It should fine. Be, it should be understood, though, like that. Whatever you know that, who I'm talking about. It's cool. To me, it's cool to have, go out and I have no. You know right. what I'm saying? Yes. I can take a girl out and I ain't trying to do shit with her. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want nothing out of yeah. the situation. You know what I'm saying? It yes. might just be the time, right time, right place. You know, it was just, yes. I ain't doing shit right now. Yo, you going to the, right. Right, let's, let's go here. <laughs> right. Why not? I, I don't hate you because I don't fuck with right. you. Right. Know exactly. Like, that's what I'm saying. People got to keep it cordial. You right. Know what I'm exactly. Keep it cordial. See, see, see. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I could, but shoot. I mean, that person might be watching be like, dang, girls she, this is talking about me. Girls go on dates all the time with niggas for nothing. For free, free yeah, food. I'm that, telling that's you why. It's free food, yeah, that's free drinks. It, yeah. Now, you can tell when somebody, like, when they're using, I'm and you can tell the when they're generally lying. interested. Yeah, I'm not the nigga lying to myself. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I know what this I know what this thotty want. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, not thotty. <laughs> Yeah, I know what she wants. You know what I'm saying? In certain cases, you know what I'm saying? If I'm in the movie, like people, people, we not gonna act like we don't know what the fuck we, you know what I'm saying? That's right. what I be telling people. People wanna put the, oh, what the fuck is going on? Good thought. You wanna be, you wanna have a good time. Let's right. Do that. <laughs> you know what All I'm right. saying? Yes, indeed. All right. So this kind of leads on to my next question, sort of. But never have I ever dumped a girl through text message or email. I done that. <laughs> I did it over a book when I was in middle school. A book? You, so it. you wrote a book and I you wrote it and I said I don't oh, think we could be together. Oh, so that that anymore. counts. I'm gonna count that. Yeah. So you gotta put a finger down. I, I don't even know. <laughs> you don't I mean, even I got, know. I got about it's two, all right. Two left. <laughs> 
Okay, that is fun. I'm not a book. Yeah, I wrote it down on her. Wrote it down. You she just like, I don't know still, how else to dump. Yeah, she said, are we still together? And I wrote, I don't think we together no more. <laughs> That's funny. She started Oh. I felt so bad. So you got back with her? No. No. She <laughs> no. Ended, yeah, she ended up Probably them three-week relationships. Nah, she ended up actually turning gay, so they kind of, you know, I might have fucked her. Let me find out you were the reason. <laughs> I hope not. I, I hope not. But she living good. You know, that she is good. She funny. Happy. funny. So I'm gonna ask a couple more. Never have I ever got banned from a public place because you were doing something you had no business doing with that significant other. Have I got banned? Yeah. Cause I've heard I heard some shit before. I heard people got banned from the mall, the movies. Not me. I'm not one of them. I'm had, innocent. We <laughs> had sex in the mall. Yeah. That's kind of weird. You, know? you be you be surprised. I would not Especially fuck with them in teenage the mall. hormones. Oh, what? Yeah, I'm not, I would not if she was going with the movie, but it's yeah. like I just never been in that situation. Movies for sure. Yeah. Definitely movies, yeah. yeah. I mean, for sure, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> she got more than that popcorn, believe that. All right. And I'm gonna ask one more question. But never have I ever gone skinny dipping with my significant other. Nah, I don't like all my ass out and all the shit. <laughs> shit. Real that is funny. <laughs> I ain't gonna think that like that. Yeah, real nigga. I ain't gonna have all the cheeks out and shit. So like I'm that. trying That's to think. So, Joe, who do you think won between shit. me and Dylan Cage? <laughs> he won? So that means I got a drink? Dang. <laughs> Y'all just act like I'm a savage for real. <laughs> I felt like we were what and what. Oh, see. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but, okay. I, I, I'll let you win that one. <laughs> Thank you. Uh-huh. So, is there a I'm shout a out? I'm All right. Okay, bet. We didn't know where we got with that. We saw we'll goddamn. See, see she's trying to take advantage. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, I'm she's innocent. trying to. That's what, see, that's all. the game. Would you like I'm to so make a toast? Um, to a prosperous lifestyle full of good energy and yep. I'm trying to make something sound good, but <laughs> yeah, just getting what we want out of life. There you go, manifesting. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Cheers to that. <laughs> so would you like to give anybody a shout out? Yeah, shout out um, Real Profit. Shout out Joe and the dope. Okay. Uh, my boy Big Blade. Shout out uh, Buddy Jones. Shit, I can go down the list deep. Okay. You know, like, you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Just shout out all them boys. Shout out my bro, my little bro, my okay. mom, my pop, everybody who got something to do with my life right now. Right. My future little yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's a future little yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting on you. <laughs> I got right. things, I got plans for you. Look, you hear that? Look, Dylan Cage is single, y'all. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if y'all like what y'all see, shoot your shot. <laughs> All right. And there we have it on this episode of Get It Poppin'. You can tune in on the Edinburgh Network. Make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to comment. Until next time, y'all, we really about to get it poppin'. But until next time, y'all, peace.